Hey everyone, it's Mindy, the Determined Scrapper. Okay, yes, I am sitting on my floor in my family room just because of... It's very late at night. My husband works first, so... Okay, the reason why I am in here doing um, this video... That helps it all. Okay, is because I just got the cut and boss, and it's the Teresa Collins edition that was um, just released on the world release with HSN at the beginning of the month. And I wanted to show you so far my feelings on it. I got it because I have a really hard time using any of the crank machines um, just due to my arms and my hands. Um, I have a really hard time with it. I suffer from chronic pain and a lot of other issues and I wanted to try a machine that is supposed to manually be able to do things for me. I have some cardstock here. It's a heavier cardstock. But I have tried, um, it comes with one, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think six plates total because there's two A plates, a B plate, a C plate, and a D plate. Okay, no, it only comes with five plates. And... I'm using my Hancock fabric right now as a shim, but I have um, two pieces right here, and this is just a spellbinder frame, and I was going through, and you're supposed to have um, your D plate, your B plate is not supposed to be your middle plate or your top plate or your, your bottom plate or your top plate and you want to cut into your A plates. So it's just cardstock. I'm like okay well I can cut through like five layers one would think. Well here's two layers of it cutting through. Okay, and cutting through two layers, the first layer comes out very easily. The second layer kind of has to be finessed out. You can see it's cut, but it it's a little tough. You have to like kind of wiggle it out, which is very strange to me considering it, this is supposed to be the new improved um, cut and boss. It's supposed to have more power and it's supposed to be more compact. Mind you, I have never tried the cut and boss previously, so I don't know um, what the old one was like. This is one piece of card set. Um, not knowing what to compare it to in regards to the old cut and boss and this one. I don't know. But I was able to to cut five layer four layers of this through my big shot with no problem. Like see there's one layer. I'm gonna show you what it does with three layers. And I've tried to switch it to where my um, blade part, the cutting part is up and down, and I find I get a better cut when it's down. Alright, here's three layers of my cardstock, and I'll even put it in the middle of the Alright, 
semi in the middle because I don't want to waste the paper. So I have my D, my B, an A plate, my material, my framelit, and another A plate. So it has sensors, and it senses when the plate's in there. layer one comes out no problem layer two may not okay so say it may not even come out because there was three layers and then here's layer three I don't know if you can see I hope you can layer three is just embossed like it barely has any detail on the back but it is just embossed on the front. So that's when I go back and I line it up with what I had. And I run it through again. So this is why I grabbed this piece of this pamphlet, it's just two layers. And there, I cut it that time. And I put that between my B plate and my cutting plate. And then, I'm only going to cut two layers again. So this is supposed to cut my crafting time in half, but the fact that it's not cutting what it says that it's supposed to is the reason why I'm doing this video, I guess. Because you're supposed to be able to cut leather and vinyl and um, plastic and wood veneer and things of that nature. Um, and so far, I I have tried like template plastic because um, I also like to quilt. Um, but I was actually cutting the template plastic for like. Um, like a stencil. Sorry. I have my moments. Now here's one layer. And it's, it's a little bit better, but there's two. So that's just this tonight's adventure in playing with my cut and boss. Hopefully I find um, a better way um, maybe I need to go and get the other plates and play around with those. But I will let you know how it goes. Thanks for stopping by.